Hi, I'm here with John Ryder after a real breakthrough victory over Eamon O'Kane. John, how do you feel about your performance tonight? I'm over the moon. He's, he's a good, tough opponent. Um, just really pleased with it. Uh, you, uh, you showed, <laughs> you showed real, uh, you showed real skill, and you didn't. You barely took a punch, although you take a shot to the eye. How do you feel about uh, the tactics and the way the game plan was affected? Uh, I worked hard in the gym with Colin, so um, the, the plan was just a jab, which I, I did neglect a bit at times, but just work on the back foot a bit more than normal and just try and meet him on the way in when he was like, lunging in a bit and just use my power against his power as he was coming in. Eamon tried to wade his way in in the early round, tried to push you against the ropes, tried to make it a real physical encounter. How did you counteract that? Um, I, just, I wasn't going to try and wrestle with him too much because I know he's big, fit and strong, so just um, just kind of went with it and just tried to use my feet to get myself out of there. Did you feel some success coming in the middle round? You really started to land to the body, you slipping in and out. How do you feel about them? Uh, a bit more, yeah. I mean, I was, I was jabbing and moving better in the first couple of rounds. Mid rounds, I started like, neglecting my work a bit and then dossing and just getting through them. The plan was just I was just going to start upping it again in, with, on the seventh round and just start picking it up then and get the points in the bank. How the whole occasion feel this week? Obviously, last minute changes, all of a sudden you find yourself uh, second from the top on a big Sky Sports build. Do you feel that this has been a real breakthrough performance for you tonight? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, it's lovely. Darren's back in the gym, like, full-time, and he's, he's back topping the bill. So, yeah, it's really nice. Good buzz. And how do you, what do you want to do now in 2013? It could be a big year ahead. Any any names, anything? What's the plan? Uh, just sit down with Colin, Tony, Ivor, uh, Eddie, just see what see what they say. Just maybe the English title still, British title, final eliminators. Just going to see what they say. You still feel like the English title could be the stepping stone and then maybe perhaps another eliminator for the British and then eventually the British then? That's the that's the path. Yeah, why not? I mean, it could act as a final eliminator with the English champion or a vacant English title for as a final eliminator. I don't know. It's very rare at this stage of someone's career to go in with someone else that's unbeaten and to put the O on the line because a lot of fighters are protected at this stage of their career. Do you feel like that was a real statement tonight? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, a lot of fighters do go like their whole careers without fighting an unbeaten fighter, and me and Eamon have done it tonight, so he deserves maximum respect to himself. Any any more words for Eamon? You feel like you feel like you could meet him down the line, maybe, or or move on and. Uh, who knows? I mean, um, he, he's 30 now. He's, he's getting on. He's, I suppose he's got a direction he wants to go with his career. Who knows? Just, it won't rule out nothing. Thanks very much for your time, Donald. Congratulations on a big performance. Cheers, thank you.